If you have been looking to buy a new 1000 ringgit tablet for media consumption or for your kids to attend classes, you might not want to buy an outdated Samsung gadget like this with tick bezels and so on. Which is why I have something better for you guys today. This is the Honor Pad X9, which is the latest mid-range tablet from Honor. And there's a lot of things to love about it, such as this really beautiful 11.5 inch 2K 120Hz display, six speaker system, and a whole lot more, which I'm going to tell you all about it in today's video. So we have seen many affordable Android tablets in the market, and the Honor Pad X9 is one of the decent ones. Now let's check out the hardware of the Honor Pad X9. Now this is a very nice 11.5 inch IPS display that pushes 2K resolution with a 120Hz refresh rate. Now as an IPS display, I have to say that this is a very nice display and I definitely do not miss AMOLED displays at all. Although I wish there's an AMOLED display on this one, but then for the price of 1,099 ringgit, I am not going to complain at all. This is a very good quality IPS display that has good contrast, viewing angles and great colors as well. And this display happens to be a tough ring lens certified low blue light and flicker free display. So if you frequently use a tablet display in low light and so on, this will definitely take care of your eyes. Now, let's take a look at the other hardware features of the Honor Pad X9. And as you can see, it has a very slim build and it only weighs just 499 grams, which is incredible for a 11.5 inch tablet because most tablets uh, of the same screen size would have at least weighed about 550 grams. And it's great that Honor has managed to make it such a light with tablet, even if it has a really large 7,250 milliamp hour battery. Now, because of the big battery and the six speaker system, Honor has to unfortunately omit the 3.5 mm headphone jack on this tablet, which I think is a necessary compromise because the six speaker system on this tablet sounds really great. And to be honest, most of us are already using Bluetooth headphones out there. So not having a 3.5 mm headphone jack is really not an issue these days. So you get a USB-C port at the side here, which I think is really convenient if you're using the tablet in landscape all the time. And it charges at 22.5 watts super fast charging, which I think is reasonable for a budget tablet. In terms of specs, the Honor Pad X9 is powered by a Snapdragon 685 processor, made it to 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Now by all means, this is not the most powerful tablet processor that we have seen within the same price range, but it is decent enough for everyday productivity tasks such as emails, some lightweight office document work, web browsing and social media. But not when it comes to gaming because this tablet really doesn't do well in games. As you can see on Asphalt 9, there's noticeable lag even when we didn't crank up the graphics setting and all that. This processor is obviously not made for gaming. So don't ever think of like running Genshin or even Honkai Star Rail on this thing because the processor really can't handle it. But otherwise, I have to say that it is a pretty decent everyday tablet. If let's say you want to use it for a lightweight office work or give it to your kids for doing video conference calls with their teachers and all that, this this tablet would actually work very well. But on top of all that specs, the most important thing is that this tablet is powered by Android 13 and it's running on Magic OS 7.1, which is Honor's very own Android skin. And I can tell you that it is very much bloat free. There's no uh, preloaded bloatware whatsoever that you will need to remove from this tablet, which is something that I am really glad as compared to some other tablets that I have seen in the market out there. So this tablet comes with a single 5 megapixel camera on the back and the front and as you can see here, the image quality is pretty acceptable for a tablet. You of course do not expect it to perform as well as a smartphone camera but for document taking and some simple photography, this camera is more than sufficient. And even if you were to use this tablet for video calls, I have to say that the front facing 5 megapixel camera looks way better than 720p webcams on a regular laptop. Now, of course, one of the reasons that you are looking at the Honor Pad X9 is its LTE connectivity, which is a great convenience if you always want to stay connected without hunting for Wi-Fi hotspots or even sharing data from your smartphone because it can take a lot of power from your phone and it can be inconvenient as well. So the Honor Pad X9 accepts a nano SIM card, which unfortunately is not a dual SIM configuration, but yeah, having a single SIM slot is definitely sufficient for most people out there. And you can even make phone calls and do SMS from this thing, or even if you want to do WhatsApp, you can still install WhatsApp through the Play Store and use it on this large screen tablet. 
Also, Honor made this tablet quite a good value when they bundled it together with this keyboard cover. And by all means, this keyboard is not a cheap keyboard that you will find in accessory stores out there because it types really well with good key travel and tactile. But the only thing that I am disappointed with this keyboard though is that it doesn't draw power from the tablet because it is a Bluetooth keyboard cover which you will need to pair it over Bluetooth even though that's not an issue out there. But I would have preferred if it draws power directly from the tablet so that I do need to charge it over USB-C when it runs out of battery and also this keyboard doesn't have any backlighting so if you intend to work in low light with this keyboard it is really not possible to do that when it comes to battery life the honor pad x9 is able to offer up to four days of lightweight usage with a combined screen on time of seven hours and that in my opinion is a great battery life for such a tablet considering it needs to power this large 11.5 inch display that refreshes at 120 hertz and i think a lot of people are going to enjoy watching videos and working on this tablet so yeah, this is the Honor Pad X9. It is a decent mid-range tablet with 4G connectivity and retails for 1,099 ringgit with this tablet and the keyboard cover, which I think is a steal and a great value that Honor is offering to consumers out there. So yeah, that's all for my thoughts and my review on the Honor Pad X9. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.